Ever wondered if there's a large SUV that combines the rugged power of a truck with the sophistication of modern tech? Or is it possible to have a vehicle that's both a towing beast and a comfortable family hauler? Meet the 2025 Toyota Sequoia. This isn't just another SUV, it's a powerhouse on wheels. With its turbocharged V6 hybrid engine cranking out 437 horsepower, seating for up to eight, and an impressive towing capacity of 9,250 pounds, the Sequoia is redefining what it means to be a full-size SUV. Curious about its real-world performance, tech features, and overall value? Stick around to see if this beast is the right fit for you. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting automotive reviews and updates. Crossovers may be all the rage, but nothing beats a classic body-on-frame SUV if you need to move people and gear. Enter the 2025 Toyota Sequoia, the latest contender in the large SUV arena. Thanks to a recent generation overhaul, this beast is packed with cutting-edge tech and driver assistance features. Need to fit the whole crew? No problem, the Sequoia seats up to eight. Got a trailer? This thing can weigh up to 9,250 pounds. But wait, there's more. The Sequoia has a powerful hybrid powertrain, so you don't have to sacrifice power for fuel efficiency. While large SUVs are notorious gas guzzlers, the Sequoia defies expectations with solid EPA estimates. It's not a three-row Prius, but the turbocharged V6 hybrid cranks out a hefty 437 horsepower. You can expect around 20 to 22 miles per gallon in combined driving, depending on your choice of rear wheel or four-wheel drive. That's a few miles per gallon better than most of its rivals, making the Sequoia a standout in its class. Think about the Chevrolet Tahoe, the related GMC Yukon, and the Ford Expedition. These models have been around the block and back, known for their towing and hauling prowess. Remember the Jeep Wagoneer, boasting a turbocharged inline-six engine and a wealth of standard features? The Sequoia holds its own in this crowd, though it has a few shortcomings. Check out our test team's expert rating for the full scoop on the 2025 Sequoia. How does the Sequoia handle the road? Its turbocharged V6 engine and hybrid electric boost make it a beast among large SUVs. The Sequoia TRD Pro shot from 0 to 60 miles per hour at the Edmunds test track in just 6 seconds. Impressive, right? Braking is strong and smooth even with the TRD Pro's beefy all-terrain tires. Despite its off-road leanings, the Sequoia felt rock-solid and stable around corners. Light, precise steering and a responsive engine make navigating daily traffic a breeze. And planning to hit the trails? The Sequoia TRD Pro is one of the most capable big SUVs. How comfy is Sequoia? Large truck-based SUVs like this one are built for capability, but they sacrifice some comfort compared to smaller unibody SUVs. That's the case here. The Sequoia's solid rear axle suspension excels in towing and off-road conditions, but around town, it makes for a rougher ride, especially for those in the back seats. The rear seats are set a bit low, so your knees might end up higher than you'd like. Up front, though, things are better. The seats are comfy with strong heating and ventilation. But here's the kicker, the cabin noise. There's more road noise than you'd find in rival SUVs, and when you hit the gas hard, the powertrain gets loud. Plus, the fans for the ventilated front seats can be pretty noisy, too. If a quiet, peaceful ride is your top priority, you might want to look elsewhere. How's the interior? Let's dive in. First off, it's surprisingly kid-friendly. Even the little ones can easily climb in, thanks to well-placed step rails and big square door openings. The second row captain's chair make it a breeze to access the third row, and grab handles are everywhere for those needing a boost. The driver's seat? It's super comfy with a nice range of adjustments, so it should fit a variety of drivers. Visibility is pretty solid for a big SUV, though it has quirks. Those surround view cameras are a lifesaver despite the large windows, mirrors, and boxy fenders. They help you see just how close you are to obstacles, which can seem a bit closer than they are. Plus, Toyota has added a handy button to activate those cameras quickly. The controls inside are straightforward and user-friendly. But here's the catch. 
The Sequoia isn't as roomy or comfy for passengers as other large SUVs. So, while it has its perks, it's not the most spacious ride out there. How's the tech? It's pretty average for the latest Sequoia compared to other SUVs in its class. We hit a few snags with the navigation system, which struggled to connect to the network in our test vehicle. Plus, there were some annoying connection hiccups with Apple CarPlay. While these issues might be one-offs, they shook our confidence. The audio system delivered clean sound but didn't blow us away. Our Sequoia TRD Pro came equipped with five USB ports, a household-style power outlet, and a wireless phone charger. That's decent, but some rivals offer more. Now, where the Sequoia shines is in its advanced driver aids. The adaptive cruise control, for example, responds quickly to traffic changes and handles acceleration and braking smoothly. The lane-keeping assistance is also solid, keeping you safely within lane boundaries if you start to drift. So, while the tech isn't perfect, some driver aids are a highlight. How's the storage? Brace yourselves because this might be a deal-breaker for some folks. When you open that rear cargo door, you'll find that the Sequoia offers 22.3 cubic feet of space behind the third row when the seats are moved forward. Sounds decent, right? But there's a catch. The third row doesn't fold down flat due to the hybrid battery under the load floor, which limits the cargo area's versatility if you don't need those seats often. Inside the cabin, storage options are also a bit underwhelming. The various nooks, crannies, and sliding trays are just too small to be useful. If you have small kids, the second row captain's chairs provide ample room for car seats, and the latch anchors are easily accessible. However, the shallow anchor depths can make securing a car seat base tricky. In the third row, there's only a top tether anchor point for the middle seat and no latch bottom anchors. But there is a silver lining. The Sequoia can tow up to 9,520 pounds when properly equipped. That's enough muscle to haul most mid-sized trailers, boats, and even larger ones. So, while storage might not be its strong suit, its towing capacity is impressive. How's the fuel economy? The EPA estimates that the Toyota Sequoia will get around 20 miles per gallon when combined with city highway driving. It might not sound like much, especially for a hybrid, but in a sea of gas guzzlers, 20 miles per gallon is pretty commendable. We took our Sequoia TRD Pro on a real-world evaluation route and hit 20.1 miles per gallon. So, hitting that EPA estimate seems entirely doable. Is the Sequoia a good value? That depends on what you're after in an SUV. As a Toyota, it boasts a build quality that feels more solid than many other large SUVs. However, its interior leans more towards durability than luxury, which might not appeal to everyone at this price point. The Sequoia focuses heavily on towing and off-road capabilities, making it a solid choice if those are your priorities. But for many buyers, it might not hit the mark. Toyota offers a standard warranty, 36,000 miles of bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage, and 5 years or 60,000 miles for the powertrain. Hybrid components get 8 years or 100,000 miles of coverage, and the hybrid battery is covered for a generous 10 years or 150,000 miles. Plus, the first two years of scheduled maintenance are on the house. For all the practical shortcomings the Sequoia might have as a large SUV, it more than makes up for it with style and driving experience. The Turbo V6 hybrid powertrain is a powerhouse, delivering speed and a surprisingly satisfying sound. Its muscular design only adds to its appeal, convincing many to consider it before stepping inside. Currently, Toyota hasn't released official details on the 2025 Sequoia. We'll update our recommendations if anything changes. Based on last year's model, we suggest the base SR5 trend. It shares the same robust V6 hybrid powertrain with the rest of the lineup. It includes a digital gauge display, adaptive cruise control, and lane-keeping assistance. For a touch of luxury, you can add the SR5 Premium package. The Toyota Sequoia is a three-row SUV with five trim levels – SR5, Limited, Platinum, TRD Pro, and Capstone. It's powered by a turbocharged 3.4-liter V6 hybrid engine, producing 437 horsepower and a 538 pound-per-feet of torque, and a 10-speed automatic transmission. 
Rear wheel drive comes standard on all trims except the TRD Pro, which is exclusively four-wheel drive. Other trims offer four-wheel drive as an option. So, what do you think about the 2025 Toyota Sequoia? Is it the ultimate SUV for your needs, or does it fall short? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth reviews and automotive insights. Thanks for watching.